Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm with Burner Babies. Today I'm going to teach you how to teach your dog how to walk with good manners. So this is Bama. She's about a nine month old standard Burner Doodle. Um, she's obviously been worked with a little bit and she also knows I have treats in my pocket. <laughs> so um, this is a training leash. Um, what it does is just a, a loop leash. Uh, so it loops through itself and then you, come here, bam, bam, and then you just loop it over the dog's neck like so. And um, I really like these to kind of teach your dogs uh, <clears throat> manners. I feel like they work really well. So today I'm just going to teach Bama that her focus needs to be on me all the time. Like I said, she's already been worked with a little bit um, and she knows I have treats in my pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk back and forth with her. And what this teaches to her is she needs to keep her eyes on me at all times. So I'm going to start by walking this way. And the minute she loses focus, I'm just going to quick turn around. And again, same thing. Now, Bam is pretty good. And when I stop, she should sit. Good girl, Bama. And I'm going to reward that with a treat. And the reason I reward it with a treat right now during the training phase is so that when I'm out and about in public, she has already learned that every time I stop, she needs to sit. This is really good when strangers approach, when you approach a street, an intersection, things like that, where you don't want the dog darting out in front of you, um, where it could be a dangerous situation. And you definitely don't want them jumping on a stranger or things like that. Good job, Emma. All right, let's try again. Retreat. So just a quick about face. Anytime she gets in front of me, loses focus. Just a quick about face. When I stop, she should sit. Good girl, Bama. Good job. Good girl. Like I said, Bama's already been worked with a little bit. Um, so not that I'm cheating per se, but she already kind of knows my expectations. So we're just gonna keep working at it. Anytime she kind of loses focus, quick about face. Stop. And she sits. Good job. Good job, Bama. That's a good girl. Good job. Let's go. Good girl. Good job. Not a fan of those? You don't like them? Or how about this one? You like that one? Also, while you're working with your dog, I think it's important that everybody realize not to use the same treat over and over. So a trainer told me years ago, and I think it's really valid, that if you use a variety of treats and never give your dog the same treat over and over, um, they're going to figure out that they like a really a one treat really well, and they're going to work harder hoping that you give them that treat. So, come on, Bama. Good girl. So, when Bama was a puppy, I, I taught her sit while on a leash. This is really good uh, to do that. So, that starts this premise right away. Um, if you teach them to sit while not on a leash, um, this this scenario becomes a little bit harder because obviously you don't teach them to sit while you're moving. Um, you teach them to sit while you're standing still. Um, and then sit becomes really easy off the leash. They don't always have to be on a leash to sit. Um, but if you teach them sit while they're on a leash, this practice becomes really, really simple. Um, so I do kind of always recommend that. If your puppy's obedience trained here, this practice becomes super simple because the minute you stop, they assume that you're going to ask them to sit whether you do or not. So a lot of times when I'm standing still, I don't have to ask grandma to sit. She just automatically does it. It's just, you know, kind of second nature. I stop while I'm on a leash. She just automatically sits because that's how she was taught to sit was on a leash. Um, while we're in the house or she's in the kennel, I can ask her to sit. She still does it easily on command. So let's go, Bama. Nope, we're going this way. Good girl. Good job. 
So I just kind of wanted to demonstrate that. Like I said, Bama's already been worked with, so your dog is not going to be this simple. So what you'll do is you'll wait for the dog to kind of cross in front of you. The minute that the dog does that, you'll want a quick about face. When you come back, again, just turn around the minute the dog crosses in front of you. She's got treats on the floor over here. Come here. Bama, come here. When you get to a point where you're kind of tired of walking back and forth, sit, stand still, tell the dog to sit, and that's when the treat is given. Um, you can do this in your backyard. You can do this while in your home. You can do it while on a walk. Um, whatever you feel like is the easiest for you. You do sometimes look a little bit crazy as you walk back and forth with really no true destination, but your dog really will be safer <clears throat> and you will be more confident while taking a walk. So if you have any questions about this process, please, le please let me know. And then of course, always like and subscribe below for more videos. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.